Hi, I'm Janae Van Orden. I'm from a tiny town called Pingree, Idaho, and here I am with this beautiful Snake River behind me. I'm 33 years old, and I am ready to be on The Biggest Loser. I chose to stand here by the Snake River because I once used to be a whitewater raft guide on the Salmon River and I did that for three summers. I was fit, I was in shape, and I was not as big as I am now. And my goal is to one day again be able to take people down the river and guide them down the white water. Maybe Bob can come along. <laughs> um, the reason I, why I should be on The Biggest Loser is because I have a lot of weight to lose. Um, I weigh 265 pounds. I would like to lose 120, 130 of that so that I can be the weight that I used to once be. Um, so I need to lose weight. I know that I can do it. I've done it before. That's another reason that I should be on The Biggest Loser. Um, I'm competitive. My, I have five sisters and two brothers and they all tell me that I'm one of the most competitive people that they know. So I know that I can do it. Um, I'm strong-willed, so I'll be a hard worker. Um, also, I need to be a better person and this will be one of the ways that I can become a better person mentally um, and physically. And these are some of the reasons why I should be on The Biggest Loser. And I'm ready to show you a typical day in the life of Janae. Come follow me. It can't be 5.30 in the morning already. I just went to sleep. Okay, I guess I better get up and put my exercise clothes on. 5.30, going down the stairs, that's quite the workout. <laughs> Good enough workout for the day. Hello. This is a quick shot of me working in the classroom with the kids. Okay, class, ready, position to listen. All right, as a fourth grade teacher, I am here in my classroom where I spend most of my life. I feel like I do my job really well, and so we're going to have a lesson on why I, Janae Van Orden, should be on The Biggest Loser. My first reason is that I, as you can obviously tell... Hold on. Alright. I'm just catching this. Okay. As you can tell, I need to have a cellulite solution. Uh, even though I'm a teacher, I need to learn new things also. Um, this includes being taught what kinds of things to eat, um, the nutrition end of things. I need to be taught. I also need to be taught how to work out. The extent of my workouts so far in life are the treadmill. That's it. That's all I know how to do. I need to know how to do cardio, I need to know how to do strength training, I need trained in those sort of things. I as a teacher also need to be taught. And 
The second reason that I should be on The Biggest Loser is, so, is that I can lose weight. I've done it before. Um, I went on a weight loss program twice before. The first time, I lost 50 pounds, but as you can tell, I put it all back. Um, the second time I did it, I lost 25 pounds, but put it all back on again. So I need, I know that I can do it because I've done it in the past. So that's a reason, another reason I should be on The Biggest Loser. The third reason that I should be on The Biggest Loser is that I'm competitive and strong-willed. All of my family tells me <laughs> I am very strong-willed, but that's a good thing in this competition, in this Biggest Loser. I am competitive, I get in there, I get things done, and I don't quit. I never give up. Never give up, that's one of my sayings that I always say, never give up. So I would, I'm very competitive and very strong-willed. The fourth reason that I should be on The Biggest Loser is that I want to teach and show others. Once I am taught how to do things, I want to be able to teach my family who could also use the, these tools and I want to be able to share with my students how to be healthy and how they can be active. I, as a fourth grade teacher, we don't have a PE specialist that comes in. That is my job, to teach these kids, or these student, my students, PE and health and all of those things tied in. That's my job, and I can't do a very good job at teaching them unless I know how. But once I learn, I want to be able to get down and do push-ups with them during PE, and do jumping jacks with them, and teach them the, the things that they should be doing so that they can be healthy also. So I want to teach and show others how to do the, the things that they need to. I want to be better. I want to be healthier. I want to be a better teacher, and I want to be a better mother and a better wife. And as I learn these things on The Biggest Loser, I am going to be able to tie them into my life. That will make me be a better teacher. Because right now, follow me over here if you will, I get so tired of standing on my feet that a lot of the times, I do my teaching from this great, big, cushy, comfy chair, and I can't be a very good teacher when I'm not able to get around the classroom as well as I should be able to help the students. So I want to be better at that, being a better teacher as I take off the weight. I also want to be a better mother so that I can get down on the floor and play Barbies with my kids be able to go outside and not be too tired to go outside when it's warm enough to go play with my kids. Instead, stay inside and go play in your room. I want to be a better mother. I want to be a better wife and be able to do the things with my husband that I want that he wants to be able to do. And healthier, I want to be able to be healthier. Um, I have hip dysplasia and I had surgery on my right hip. I had to have five screws put into it. It's a birth deformity that I was born with. My left hip also has the same thing that's wrong with it. If I don't get this weight taken off, I will probably eventually have to have surgery on my left hip. This is a typical meal. For me, um, we usually eat in the car because it takes too much energy for me to get in and out of the car and get everybody in and out. So, and I'm too embarrassed to stuff my face in front of everybody, so I prefer to eat in the car. Um, so, a large fries and a delicious hamburger with the works. Mm. 
of course, the large drink to wash it down. My favorite meal. One of my favorite meals. Here's another part of the eating out experience. I finish off all the kids' food that they don't eat because we've already paid for it and they never eat it. So mommy, I'm the garbage disposal. I finish it off for them. I love the store because they have such cute stuff. It always is fashion and it's just cute. I know I love their stuff too, but about the only thing that would fit me in there is their accessories. They don't have my size. They don't have plus sizes in there. Even online or anything? No, nope, not even online. In fact, that's where I do most of my shopping is online because I get so frustrated and get too embarrassed to go shopping for clothes because nothing fits me. Sorry. I'm in the middle of the world, so <laughs> You're making let's just keep too. going. <laughs> let's just keep going. Okay. So, Kayla. Why do you think that mommy should be on the big cruiser? No. So you can lose weight. Anything else? Why do you want mommy to lose weight? So you cannot be fat. So I cannot be fat. What kind of things do you want mommy to be able to do with you? Since I won't be fat anymore. This is a picture of me years ago as a whitewater raft guide on the Salmon River. This is where I had my hip dysplasia surgery and I had to re-teach myself to walk, so I'm recovering here. This is a picture of my sisters, some of them, at my sister's wedding and me, how I stand out. A family picture here, my chin starting to get bigger. This is my class this year and the most recent picture of me with my big chin. Also, we've got the cottage cheese legs and the grandma arms and the triple quadruple chin here that we need to work on. Looking in those fun house mirrors at the circus that make your body wider because I don't know how I got to this point. I do know how I got to this point, but I wish I was never to this point. It needs to change, and it needs to change now. Really? Yeah, okay. but we might be able to find some nice size. Mm -hmm. They're all different. Yeah, everything I own is black. Okay. So I already have a lot of black. What Down about black. solid print is a lot better. Yeah. Because yeah. you could wear a lot more stuff. Well, I know, but it brings so much attention if it's bright. And I just, I just really Okay. You do wear a lot of black. You need color. Color. So let's try something else. What about stripes? Mm, no, I'm already big enough as it is. <laughs> How about no what? stripes. No. no. So white is not slimming. So no. You have a lot of black. Yeah. What about? You don't want bright colors though. No. I, it's so frustrating trying to shop. I love the store.